I can't think of another vehicle that's produced right now that I would trade over my Rivian. I don't care how much the car costs. This is, for me, the one vehicle to rule them all. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I have this Rivian right here. It's a loner, it's in Rivian Blue. Yeah, I turned my vehicle in for service, and if you see my last video, I talked about uh, how, you know, my rental car experience, was, which wasn't great uh, with the Enterprise rental car, but thankfully, Rivian was able to give me a, a Rivian loaner vehicle, and this is awesome, so let me tell you. So to be able to get another Rivian, because I rode in another a gas car, and I'm just letting you know that that was not fun, and almost, I almost had a tear coming out of my eyeball. But I'm just going to show you over this vehicle right here. And this is a newer vehicle and it does have some changes uh, from the, uh, the model I have. My model is a 2023 and this has to be a 23 also, but there's some things on here that are different from my vehicle. And I'm just going to go over those with you. Okay, first thing that I notice is different is that I have like three of these right here. And I notice that when I open this up, this only has one magnet on it. And this material just feels different. This feels different from the one I have in my vehicle. And it only has one magnet, I guess it's good enough, but it doesn't hold as strong as the one in my vehicle. And I also noticed that it's missing the 12 volt outlet. My car has a, a 12 volt right here also. I can close that up. Yeah, just coming to the inside, and right here I have the uh, the Meridian Elevation, and you can see this is the the new Rivian system that's made in house by Rivian. And I haven't heard what it sounds like. I will. I mean, I am going to get to test the sound and give you my opinion of it. And also underneath here, mine has a 12 volt under here, and this this one does not have one. And also another big difference is the interior color. Mine is in the uh, Ocean Coast, the grayish white color. And this is in Mountain Black. And I still like this, this, this looks really nice. You know, this is still a really nice looking vehicle right here. I love this vehicle color. One of the other things I really like is Rivian attention to detail. If you notice in the screen, you have your Rivian blue vehicle. And it also has the uh, same rims that you have in your vehicle. Uh, pretty cool. Let's see what it's like in a different mode. See, same, same rims, same color. Pretty cool. And something else I'm going to show you too, if you can, you know, take a look here in the screen. Let me see if I can get it, get you in a little closer. I'm going to turn the steering wheel and if you see, you can see the wheels, the wheels on the vehicle there are actually turned also. Let me turn it back. I'm going to turn it this way and you see the wheels poke up. You see that? Pretty cool, huh? Uh, so I did test the sound system in here. I can't really tell too big of a difference, but there's a difference. I noticed that some of the, I have some additional controls in mind, maybe one additional control, and I'll show you what it is. And when I get back in my vehicle, I just verify it, but I'll show you here. In this screen right here, you know, you, can, you have this control here where you can control the, the fade and the balance. I have an additional one on mine with the elevation system where I can control the sound stage at the same time, but I'll just verify that in my vehicle. But after that, everything looks pretty much the same. I will say there is a slight quality difference, in my opinion. I think 
my system, it sounds a little better, especially on the high end when the volume's turned all the way up. But to the average ear, uh, you're probably not going to detect it. But, you know, overall, this system sounds a lot better than I thought it would. Uh, but, yeah, sounds great to me. And I'll just give you the view from the back. Again, you have the Rivian stereo system in here. And just give you just a view from the back of the vehicle. You have that nice panoramic roof. This is like in my vehicle. And this is a quad motor. Let's give you a view up front. And this one also does have the all-terrain wheels on here. And these are the 20s. And these are the bright. And just see how you like that. You can really see the, the Rivian yellow brake calipers coming through there. And there's a lot of tread on these tires. <laughs> there's a lot of tread on here. And this sits a lot higher uh, than my Rivian. And this is in standard, I believe. So it's not even in uh, the highest standing uh, stance setting. Let's come around back and take a look at this. Oh yeah, one other thing I want to show you is something I don't have on my vehicle. Oh, mine doesn't pop up on like this, but. This one has full size spare. What you're going off road, uh, you should have a full size spare. And I can see, let me just twist this thing right here for you. So what we have here. Oh, I thought this thing would come up. Yeah, let me uh, see if I can get this thing up. All right, let's see if I can. Lift this out of here, and uh, you do get a jack in here, and you also with the you also get a crowbar right here, and this is the the thing that you'll stick under the vehicle, put on the jack stand like this to go in this. There's a certain locations underneath the vehicle where you stick these things, and it shows you on the jack stand where to actually jack it up. But you get that. Go ahead and put this back in. But yeah, so if you get a spare tire, you get the the uh, the full size spare with the jack. And I believe if you order the spare, you have to pick it up from the service center and they install it in for you. Go ahead and put that back in. And the cost of the spare is just going to depend on which type of tire you get. Hello everyone, I am test driving the Rivian Blue Rivian and with the all-terrain 20s tires on. And I'll have to say, uh, this thing drives pretty well. I mean, I, I just thought it'd be a rougher, louder ride with these all-terrain tires on it, but it's not. This is just as quiet as my vehicle with the 22 inch sports tires. So this thing drives nice. This thing is a nice road tripper. And I really like the interior. Uh, this dark interior looks really nice. I do have the, the ocean coast interior. Of course, I prefer that over this, but my wife really liked this. Uh, but we did look at some, uh, some R1S's and she really liked those R1S's and she saw that that force edge interior and she says she gets a r1s she's going to make sure she gets the force edge interior because those are the, her favorite color after seeing it in person but yeah i just want to let this thing drive really nice i think this was a vehicle was one that prop, probably didn't pass inspection and just happened in a few days i noticed some some uh, little quirky things with it like this dashboard here see how it vibrates you know so uh 
and there's a when you close the door you can hear some vibrations i'm not sure if it's the trim on the outside or what uh you can't hear it on the inside and it doesn't affect the the the, the quality of the ride and anything like that you can't hear it now the dashboard if you're going over really rough terrain you can hear it vibrating but and there's something wrong with the tailgate too you know when you push there's some you know it, it does it's it's a little loose but outside of that this is an outstanding ride the way it rides and i'm really happy that i was able to get this as a loaner it, 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 instead of having to get a rental car because that rental car experience was not nice so um yeah just happy to be driving around in this instead i'm more happy to report this thing drives just as good as mine if not better so uh yeah if you're in the market for a rivian uh, i highly recommend that at least test drive when they have certain events in lo different locations where you can uh, test drive a Rivian to see how you like it. Now, these are awesome vehicles, and I can't think of another vehicle that's produced right now that I would trade over my Rivian. I don't care how much the car costs. This is for me the one vehicle to rule them all. But I just wanted to drop in, and uh, that's it for this test drive here. This thing drives awesome, the acceleration is good, and the ride is smooth, and that's all I have for today. I'd like to thank you for joining me again, and I can't wait to see you on the next video. While I was checking the vehicle, I got a couple of deliveries. Let's see what we have here. I did order some shoes, and we're going to see what these shoes look like. All right, let's see what we have here. Probably should have uh, bought something to open this box up with. Yeah, right here we got some Brooks shoes. See my blue color right here. No, okay. Not the ones I was looking for. Still nice nonetheless. Got my camouflage here. Let's check this one out. Got more Brooks here. See this box a little smashed up. All right, let's see what we have. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about right here. Yeah, these are nice. See, let's see if they match the Rivian. Some of the blues do match. This blue right here matches the Rivian blue. Nice. It does match my shirt though. Yeah, so if you have some bad feet, these are the shoes. I have, if you have uh, like plantar fasciitis or low arches and you over pronate, I'm telling you right here, these are, uh, these are the only things that ever work for me, the Brooks, the Ghost. So, uh, yeah, these are great shoes right here. You see I have, and they come in some nice colors. And I'm not sponsored by them at all, you know, but I just want you all to be aware of that these are some great shoes. And matter of fact, all my shoes that I wear are Brooks. These are the only shoes that I buy now.